Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Black Sheep Brewery and it's a bottle of the Black Sheep Ale coming in at 4.4% ABV. Here's the bottle cap. Picked this up in the supermarket because it's what, it was one of the first beers I reviewed and I wanted to... Let's get it open first. Look at that nice smoke. What I wanted to do was to see how my palate has developed since I reviewed it all that time ago. I believe it was three years ago. It was also in... I don't think it was in HD, so I'm, I'm recording it in 1080p Full HD for you as well. To get the full enjoyment of that. Look at that lovely look to the beer. It's cherry red and amber cherry colour. It's a one finger tan coloured head with nice carbonation streaming up the side of the glass. Very clean looking beer then. Very crisp. It's not bottle conditioned. Let's get my nose into it then. And what I'd like you to do, just to see for yourselves how far we've come over the last nearly four years. Um, go back, watch my original Black Sheep Ale review and put your comments in the comments box. Tell me how things have kind of developed over the years. Has my, has my reviewing style changed? Put, it, put your comments down, I'd like to know. This is a rich full body bitter. It's lovely and uh, malty and bready. Got that classic British hop aroma. Slightly kind of with the malt, it's a slightly nutty, lemony aroma. And there's a bit of that kind of, oh, it's, it's almost kind of oaty and, and, and really kind of almost, dare I say it, porridgey. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. Mm. There's a, a slightly burnt quality to the beer. It's so drinkable. I still really enjoy good, solid, best bitters like this, like this good, solid ale. On a Saturday night or on the weekend, I will often sit down with a bottle of this and enjoy it. But flavour wise, let's dig some out for you. It's nutty, it's roasted, fresh bread. Then you've got that bittering hop on the end. Traditional kind of like a brambling cross or something like that. Maybe even a bit of Styrian gold in there's a, there's a nice spicy element to the beer as well. Mm. Nice carbonation and it zings on your tongue. Helps to release all the beer, uh, flavours in the beer. And it's nice, it's nice just to stand here. I know I very rarely get to see all of you guys out there, but you, you, you comment on my videos and it's kind of, it really would be a nice kind of look back as to how my reviews have changed. Um, <clears throat> but it's not all about me, it's about this stuff, it's about the beer, it always will be. Um, I'm just about ready then to rate Black Sheep Ale. I've not looked back at my original review. I've not watched it. The reason being is because I would, I would know the rating of the beer. And I don't want to kind of give it the same rating. I want it to be probably, I'm hoping for a slightly different rating.
But just to finish up then, it's nutty, it's roasted, there's caramel, there's freshly baked bread, it's nutty, it's spicy from the styrium golden hop that I imagine's in the beer. It's nice and hoppy and bitter on the back end. It's a lovely balanced beer. This would have been Black Sheep's flagship beer. It would have been what made them become who they are today, to become successful, is to be able to brew good beer. This is a good beer. It's very tasty, it's very drinkable, it's very refreshing. So what is my rating? I hope it's not the same as before, but I'm going to say this is a very solid traditional British bitter ale, if you like. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 for me, real ale craft beer. It's more than solid. It, it's, it's so windy out there tonight. You could sit back, look out the window with all that wind and just enjoy three or four of these. Watch the world go by, maybe with a nice newspaper or a tablet computer these days um you probably wouldn't have had one of them three years ago um yeah so eight out of ten from real craft beer check out black sheep brewery i think it's www.blacksheepbrewery.co.uk put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers